and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. In case you're new here, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe. And click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And we try to post one every day. At every least day. one. We try. At least one. Our goal is to try to get out two for you guys, but we like to at least do one every day. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and keep those comments coming. We've had some great comments. So thank you. We have a nice long list. So we're going through the list as, um, as quickly as we can with three kids, three dogs, a partridge, and a pear tree. So. <laughs> Uh, I forgot the cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we have a cat, too. Bagheera, by the way. Is his name. Yeah. So, um, today we're going to do... A reaction video. Another reaction video. To a thousand-year-old temples from India. Right. So, we do actually really like doing these videos. Yes. Well, I love looking at the pictures of the temples. And, and they're so, like, detailed. Like, everything is so... Let's get started. <laughs> yeah. India. Rich in architecture. The oldest ancient temples. So, a thousand years old. More than a thousand years old. That's crazy. That they're still standing. Ambarnath. Ambarnath. I love the, the detail going up. Yeah. Each layer looks like it has some detail. So. Dedicated to Lord Shiva. We did do a video on that. That's really Lord old, Shiva. But we did yep. do a video on it. Bradeshwar. Bradeshwar. Yeah. That's how I would say it. Yeah. I like the layer. Yeah. I love the layers. This one looks even. This yeah. is Shiva too. Crazy. This is so pretty. And it's like dark Kalasi, stone. Kalasi, Kalasi. Yeah. So. Largest rock cut temples. What? Yeah. They cut a one rock? One rock. This is made out of one <laughs> rock. That's crazy. That's so Yeah. Shore temple. Shore temple. It looks like every layer as it goes. And look, the yeah. cows. The golden cow. The golden cow from Lord Shiva. Yeah. And it's from South India. Oldest structure. Oldest structure from South Samanath India. Samanath Temple. Samanath. Samanath. This is really pretty too. <laughs> Ooh. Seventh century. Nice. Located it was Garak. destroyed and rebuilt several, several times. times. But still Crazy. very long ago. The yeah. last one. Chenne this is so pretty. Chenneksa. All the details at the bottom. Yeah, it looks like kind of like animals or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Near the and Yangshi River. Uh, 10th and 11th and century. Dedicated to Vishnu. Kandarna. Kandarna. This is like a smaller one, it looks like. Yeah. I mean, still pretty, but not, not as big. Not accessible right road. 14 kilometers you have to walk. What? And That's like a long... eight miles, nine miles. Nine, oh, yeah, almost nine miles. That's crazy. This one's colorful. I love the colors, but uh, we realized it's painted. Yeah, but it's 30, pretty. Thirty thousand square feet. Thirty thousand square feet in that temple. <laughs> Jagat, Pita. Very few temples dedicated to Lord Brahma. Brahma. 2,000 years old. This is Ooh, really this pretty. One's really yeah. pretty. This is like all white. I'm wondering how they keep that white for so How long. do you keep it that white for centuries? Yeah, because I can't keep my shoes white for De two days. <laughs> dedicated to Lord Vishnu. Ooh, this is in a cave. This is nice. I would love like, to go see that. It's like really like, it's not detailed or anything. So yeah, from like the, the outside you can't cave. tell, yeah. but inside, but look inside at that, so how they carved. Like actual people, they're just like... Oh, this is pretty too. Yeah. Branath Temple? Branath. Branath. Dedicated Lord to Vishnu. Lord Vishnu. Mm. A Buddhist shrine. Lingaraja. Lingaraja. I like this looks old. 
It's it still does. standing, but it looks old. It I looks old, it. and that's like one of the, the favorite parts dedicated to Lord Shiva. 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 Virupapsha. Yeah, that's a hard one. Virupapsha. No, I like that it's rounded on the top. Yeah, that's what my favorite part is. It's like the rock. And then it has like little like triangles. Most sacred. Dwarakadish. Dwarakadish. Gurat. One of the two, Lord Vishnu's. More than 2,500 years old. Wow. Sarangantha. Sarangantha Swami. 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 Ooh, I like this. 156 acres? Acres. Wow. This is pretty mm. too. I love all the colorful ones because from yeah. like far behind you like see all the and, different colors. And it too has the rounded top like it goes up. Yeah. And it's got to, like a to little like lake the or goddess Pavati. Ooh, a goddess. Ma Madishwari. Mm-hmm. Mandi. Okay. Oldest one of the oldest temples Ooh. dedicated to Lord Shiva. Functional temple. Too. Oldest mm. functional temples. Nice. Mandaranga Ahar Temple. These look a little bit smaller. Wow. It, that looks like the inside of the ceiling. Oh, it's I love beautiful. that. Like when you look up and there's just like so pretty. Mad. Mad Khan Temple. Oldest temple. Those were so pretty. I'm going to say one thing. All of Indian's temp India's temples, sorry if I said wrong, are also detailed and they take like 5 to 20 years to be built, which is crazy. Decades. Try decades. <laughs> so, yeah. Many, many, many years. Thousands. I mean, I wouldn't say thousands of years. There are thousands of years old that take probably oh. hundreds of years to and build. And it's crazy how they're still detail. they're still up. Like they're still standing. They're still standing. Our house was built in 4 months. Um and it, I think if a wind, not a wind, like a tornado or a hurricane came by, I don't know how much our house would still be here, but those would be. But those would be the place to go if you had um natural Disasters. Um, disasters, yeah, like that's never gonna go away. Even yeah. your children and your children's children could still go and see these things. Yeah. Like that's crazy. The other crazy how... thing is, sorry, no, go ahead. The other crazy thing is how they make a temple out of one big rock. So one just... rock. One. A rock. whole temple. I mean, I know some of them are put together rock pieces, By but rock they're pieces. still huge, huge pieces yeah. of rock. Daddy said. Yeah. And they carve, hand carve Which is the crazy. stone. Because yeah. back in the day, they don't have, like, bulldozers or, like, stuff like that. Yeah. They still probably don't in India. I don't know if they do. But, um... Um, I think they do now. But it's just crazy. Like, you think thousands and thousands of years ago, they built these beautiful, huge temples out of stone. And some of the stones had to be moved from other places. And, you know... How many people, how many elephants, and what kind of pulley system did they use to get that? And no wonder it took, you know, 50 years to build, as opposed to here, stuff is built a lot quicker. But I don't think we could build those here now. No. Like, or maybe we just don't. Like in the U.S., we have some beautiful churches and um, Daddy's been to Rome, and some of the churches there are really beautiful, and some of those are built out of stone. Mm -hmm. um, the ones here, um, not s too many of them are built out of stone, and they're maybe 100, 150 years old, and um, they're, they're crumbled, barely like... standing. Most of the ones that I've seen personally, anyways, are, are barely yeah. standing in the U.S. Even the churches, like, barely standing. Yeah. I mean, there's some pretty churches, but mostly new builds, Mostly recent mm -hmm. stuff that's old, 
you can tell it's really old yeah. and yeah it's not going to survive like these will be around forever they've been around forever they're going to be around forever more the other yeah. crazy thing is you have to walk about eight to nine miles to get to a temple right. and i'm like i would walk that i would go eight to nine miles to just stand in front of that beautiful temple because it's so pretty yeah so yeah i mean the sculptures and the the people and every layer has different ones yeah. and the ones with color are really beautiful and my husband says they're painted. painted so I thought maybe they were colored stones which I was like wow that's even more amazing yeah. so painted stone makes me a little bit sad but they're still so pretty but, like painted like somebody actually went and up there and like paint, each, painted them um, god or goddess or feature or the other uh, thing yeah. is because they're so detailed i bet the first time you go you don't see as much as you want to see and you just go in there and you just stare probably just in at awe. the ceiling or just like at one piece and you just try and find all the details in that one piece yeah because every layer it looks like every layer has um either animals or people are sculpted in them every or pillar like a has it's, a god on it like yeah some crazy. kind of design in it so you could go maybe 10 times and still the 11th time you'd be like wow i didn't see that the last yeah. time i was here so the ones that are built inside the cave inside the mountains yeah where it's like one stone and my thought was like when you build it down into the mountain how you can't you, see you anything. Can't you really can't see what you're doing and you're how gonna, like, or make you, a you mistake. might mess up. Yeah, and then, but it's beautiful. It's, it's wild. <laughs> it's crazy the amount of technology that they had back then and, and that these temples are um, still around and they're building that new temple in India. Yeah. Um, which my husband wants us all to go. Which I want I don't to think go. It's not done yet with the golden statue. All I want to do um, is go, go into a temple. Go out, go to a food place, like, you know, like a stand place, <laughs> ask for something, go out, and I'll just be happy. I'm just like... Yeah, Anji <laughs> just wants to go to see all the beautiful temples and eat all the delicious Indian food. So we'll be coming to India sometime soon, hopefully, right? Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to remember to put the link down below. I don't always remember to do that, but I will try this time. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't Bye. forget to... Subscribe! Bye. Bye.